Hey what's up guys welcome back to project world in this video i will be showing you how i made a dimmable led floodlight that can even be powered from your car or a couple of batteries i will use one of my old 20 watt floodlight which does not work anymore so sit back relax and let's get started After disassembling the floodlight, I will remove the LED driver which will not be of use anymore. I will also remove the glue which held the LED driver in place. I then remove the waterproof seal from the wire using an adjustable wrench and a plier. I desoldered the connections to the LED and tried to power it on using external power at 30 volts. But it did not turn on. This LED is dead. I removed the screws holding it in place, pulled out the LED and wiped off the old heatsink compound. I will replace the LED with a new one, but before I secure it in place, I will add some fresh heatsink compound. Thereafter, I aligned it in place and secured it with the screws. Now it's time for the boost converter. I used an XL6009 boost converter for this project since it can handle up to 3 to 4 amps. I will desold the small potentiometer in the boost converter. Don't throw this away, we need to use this as a trimmer potentiometer. I will use a 10k potentiometer to which I will attach a 10k resistor to its middle pin. I will then connect a wire to the resistor and another wire to the pin on the left side of the potentiometer. I will then solder in another 10k resistor to the middle pin of the potentiometer we removed from the boost converter. I will insert each swing tube before I solder so that I can insulate the connections. I will connect a wire to the resistor of the small potentiometer and another wire to the pin under the golden knob. Now I will connect those wires to the left and right most contact points to which the small potentiometer was attached to of the bus converter. I thereafter connected 12 volts to the input of the bus converter and connected my voltmeter to the output. I then turn the dimmer potentiometer to the max. Afterwards I turn the trimmer potentiometer counterclockwise to get a reading of 30 volts in the voltmeter since the forward voltage of the LED I am using is 30 volts. Now by turning the dimmer potentiometer we can adjust the output voltage from the boost converter. I 
I soldered in two wires to the terminals of the LED and mounted the boost converter to the casing with spacers and bolts. I thereafter connected the wires from the LED to the output of the boost converter, making sure of the polarity. I soldered in two wires to a 12 volt female connector. Make sure of the polarity when connecting the wires. If you connect it the wrong way, you could damage the boost converter. Afterwards, I connected those wires to the input of the boost converter and mounted the 12 volt female connector to the casing where I previously drilled a hole to fit the connector. I mounted the dimmer potentiometer to the case using a washer since the hole which was previously there to pass the wire for the LED driver was too big. I screwed everything back in place and added a knob to the dimmer potentiometer. I connected a 12 volt female connector to the back of a male car cigarette lighter connector so that I can provide power to the flat light from the car. You could either connect some wires directly to the cigarette lighter connector as well. I also used heat shrink tube to insulate the parts.
make sure of the polarity when connecting the 12 volt female connector. Using flux will help soldering the wires much more easily. I connected a wire with both ends having a male 12 volt connector to the previously modified cigarette lighter connector. I thereafter plugged in the cigarette lighter connector to the car. After connecting the other side to the floodlight it lights up. I can increase the brightness by turning the potentiometer. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please support the channel by subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. See you in the next video.